What's going on today, my fellow YouTubians? Today I'm gonna to be showing you beautiful people how to fix your USB MTP device. Minus the nerd lingo, it is your GoPro, it is your iPad, your iPhone, your tablet, you name it. It is any device that you use to plug directly into your computer via USB to either transfer files onto your computer or from your computer onto that actual device. And basically what is happening when you plug it in, I went ahead and ruined my GoPro to bring you this exclusive error right here and that error will pop up or one of these many other errors that I'm going to be putting on the screen for you are popping up right now and you are unable to actually access the device from your computer. First and foremost though, I do want to touch on the very easiest fix of them all, which by the way has resolved literally more than half of these issues that I've ever ran into. And I've ran into a lot of these issues. I want you to just grab a brand new USB cable all together and attempt to plug this in to your device and back into your computer. Also trying other USB ports, making sure that it is not just a single faulty USB port. And hopefully that does work. Did that work for you? Cheers to that. But unfortunately, if it did not. First to start it off, what we're gonna do is locate down to the bottom left hand side and click on start. When start opens up, you're simply going to type out CMD, just like so. Do not hit enter. You're going to go up to where it says programs and generally have a little black box next to where it says CMD. You're going to right click on that and then go to run as an administrator. If the prompt comes up, click yes. And as you'll see, command prompt loads up with system 32 as its primary operator. Now, first and foremost, and it seriously blows my mind how simply Windows works sometimes, you're going to type out net local group administrators space local space service space forward slash add I will go ahead to make sure I copy and paste that down into the description as well so that you can quickly reference it and copy and paste it into command prompt if you want to after you have this typed out and you are making sure that it says system 32 is a primary operating line you're gonna go ahead and hit the enter key now for me a system error is going to come up because I've already applied this fix and if a system error comes up for you that looks similar to that do not worry, that means that you already have the administrators group inside of your local slash domain groups. You can now plug in your device, and if it works, you are all set. But if not, go ahead and unplug your device again and have no fear, I have the most successful fixes for you that I've ever implemented over the years. So getting right into fix number two, I have two links available for you down in my description below. Uh, what You are only, however, going to be copying one of these links depending on which version of Windows you are running. So if you're running Windows end version, this is the website you're going to be going to. And if you're running the normal version of Windows, this is the website that you're going to be going to. And I will always make sure to have my description updated with the most current links available to you. And again, these are directly from Microsoft.com. They are trusted websites. I would not endorse a download if I knew that it would harm your computer in this case. So when you get to this website, go ahead and scroll down and then click on the download button. And when the download comes up, it'll ask you to save the executable file. Go ahead and save the file. Just make sure that you locate the executable file. And then go ahead and click on the file or double click on the file. And then you're going to click on run as soon as it asks. Go ahead and click on next as soon as this wizard pops up. Go ahead and accept the license agreement. Click next. Go ahead and click next through that. And then you're going to install it in this case. Now if an administrative prompt comes up from here, that's fine. Make sure that you click yes and let this finish installing. However though, after it gets done installing, do not restart your computer because all of the drivers that are being downloaded from this fix we're going to be implementing into the next fix. So make sure that you do not restart yet. Now that the porting kit or feature pack has finished downloading, what you're gonna do from here is locate back to your elevated command prompt, mind you, meaning that it says system32 as the primary operator. What you're gonna type out is set dev mgr underscore show underscore non-present underscore devices equals one i will make sure to have that on the screen for you and it will also be in my description and i will not type for a second if you do want to type it out but when you have this finished typed out go ahead and hit the enter key command prompt isn't going to show us any kind of special command saying that it's been executed however we have just unraveled everything inside of the device manager or would it be Ah. The next thing you're going to type out, however, is devmgmt.msc and then hit the enter key. Now device manager is going to load up. When device manager loads up, what you're going to do is kind of expand the window a little bit. And with that special command that we typed out where we didn't get any high fives or cookies, 
basically what it's going to be doing is showing us any ghost devices or hidden devices in device manager so from here what you're going to do is click on view at the very top and then you go down to show hidden devices now voila here are our portable devices in this case that just appeared and you can click on the little drop down arrow next to that to go ahead and show every single portable device that has ever worked on your computer now if your device has never worked on your computer it will not be showing up here However, I'm going to show you the primary driver that every single MTP device that I've ever witnessed uses. So if you can see your device, you can actually right click on the device, go down to properties, go over to details, and then select this little drop down. Now you're gonna locate down to INF name, and here we go. Here is the golden goose egg, the golden ticket, the number one driver that every single MTP device uses. Yes, and I will have this up on the screen real big for you, and I will also be including all of the other possible drivers in this case if this one does not work for your media transfer protocol device. So now from here, what I want you to do is locate back to command prompt with it being elevated, mind you, and you're going to type out the following. You're going to type out pnputil.exe space dash a space, and you're going to type out percentile system root percentile backslash inf backslash wpd mtp dot inf go ahead and look that over and you can also locate to it in my description if you need to and then hit the enter key now this is exactly what you want to see if it says that your driver wasn't successfully installed that means that the porting kit that you downloaded wasn't successfully implemented and you may now need to go bookmark this video and restart your computer and come back to this exact time of when we typed in this command so that it does get successfully imported for you. So after it gets done successfully importing, we're now gonna locate back to the device manager. And now what I want you to do is start getting rid of every single one of these ghost devices. And you know the best way to get rid of a ghost is the delete, the delete button. And the easiest way to do it is to click on the delete button and then hit the space key. Locate to the next one, click on the delete key, hit the space key. Now when every single one of those ghost devices are deleted under your portable devices, now we're going to locate down to universal serial bus controllers. It should normally be at the bottom and click the down arrow next to that. And now here are more of these ghosts. And it's time to start doing exactly what we were doing with our portable ghost devices and start removing every single one of them. Now this is totally optional. You can delete every single one of these, including the primary ones. However, I suggest deleting the ghost ones first and then if those don't work, that is an optional step that you can take that might make it work. Now when every single one of those ghost devices under your universal serial bus controllers are uninstalled, you're going to locate down to the start button at the very bottom left hand side and you're going to type in autoplay and then hit the enter key. When autoplay loads up, what I want you to do at the very top, I want to make sure that you have the use autoplay for all media and devices box checked. Make sure that box is checked. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of autoplay and you're going to click on reset all defaults and then click save. Now, a fair warning, if you are using an Apple product, make sure that you update iTunes to its latest version so that it properly recognizes it when you attempt to use iTunes for autoplay for your Apple device. And now, it is time for your final fix. You're gonna locate down to the start button at the very bottom left hand side of your screen and you're gonna type in Windows space update. Just like so, it'll be the very top one. Go ahead and click on that. When Windows updates loads up, you're gonna go to and click on check for updates. It will be somewhere on your screen if you do not have Windows 7. Then let that run after you check for the updates. Once check for updates gets done running, you're gonna go over to install updates and click that and let that run. Make sure that you bookmark my video just in case your computer force restarts on you. I want to make sure that your device works. I don't care about anything else. I just wanna make sure that it works for you. I will also be linking at the very end of this video a part two of a whole new video that I'm going to be creating with more fixes just in case any of these didn't work for you but I will have them in my description at the very bottom just for you because I love you until I get that video created just in case you need to reference to them to make sure that you get all the fixes you need. 
So my computer has just booted back up again. Now I'm going to attempt to plug in my problematic GoPro. So here we go, I'll plug it in. Hopefully it doesn't freeze while I'm trying to record at the same time and plug it in. Yes! So the GoPro has started working here. As you can see on the screen, I'm able to access its interface and I can browse its files, import, change general settings, everything in between. More importantly, I hope your device starts working, but do not forget, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I absolutely love all my viewers. I love my subscribers and I really can't express how much gratitude I have for the fact that you even stopped by today to come check out my video. Thank you so much. I love you. You either have a wonderful day or night.